My name is Gayla Monkey and I'm from the Apple Store. I'm just gonna lose my spots, that's all. Merry Christmas Eve! Merry Christmas Eve! It's beginning to look a lot like syphilis. Stop it! Yesterday, when I was taking my makeup off at almost midnight, my nose piercing fell out and almost went down the drain. Where are we going? The most magical place on earth. Not my, Disneyland. My Topley pets. Cabin. You've got crabs. Gross. <laughs> Hi. How old are you? I'm one. Girls, happy Christmas Eve. What the fuck? It is quite literally the 24th of December today and I, for one, am elated. I'm not working until Thursday? Thursday, I think Thursday. I don't know, anyway, just been to Tobley Cab. Um, possibly my favourite place on earth. No, I take it back. It is my favourite place on earth. Got a few more bits for the giveaway because I said the other day in a vlog, if you're caught up, I obviously bought these wax melt burners. I bought one and then I was like, wait, I don't want to give it away because I like it too much. So I wanted to go and get another one and I got some other stuff as well. Hey! So, you're jerking. I got this knitted hippo, okay? I've had my eye on this since... <laughs> It's called hippie hippie. <laughs> First time I went, I was like, oh, I kind of want that. Also, I keep picking up my fingers. So I've got a Captain America plaster on it. Um, I was like, oh, I kind of want that. And then I was like, no, I don't need it. I don't need it. And then every time I'd say that. And then this time I just thought, fuck it. Curb the bullet. So copped. Also, we brought my dad with us. Me, my mum and my dad went. So me dad actually bought this giveaway prize. Not the hippo. Sorry, I'm not giving that away. He bought everything we picked up, basically. Legend. My mum got this wax melt burner. Can you see how nice that is? You know, like, they painted that by hand. Like, and then I got this one for the giveaway. Like, hello. So nice. I also got this um, handmade clay decoration. <laughs> I also got this. I also got this handmade clay llama decoration. Yeah, yeah. And then I got some more wax melts. These are the ones that I bought for the giveaway the other day and then I smelt them and I was like, wait, <laughs> I kind of want them. This is the one that's named after their donkeys. Moonshine magic. So yeah, that's everything I got. My mum got a couple of other things as well, but I don't know. That's not for me to say. So yeah, successful haul. Got to see my favourite cat of all time. They've just rescued this Norwegian forest cat. I don't know if he's fully Norwegian forest cat. His name's Mau Mau. He is sensational. He was in my last vlog when I went there. He's like 15. His owner passed away. No one claimed him. Don't pop up. Don't make me cry. Don't make me sob. And so they rescued him. They've got 15 cats there. I love all of them. I think they're all so cute. I think they're all cutesy little ladybugs, but Mau Mau, mm -hmm. yeah, he's on top, yeah. And when we left, he found this pillow of catnip, and he just started pouring at it, and I thought, he's playful, he's kind, he's considerate, and he's a gen. I love him. <sighs> God, I'm tired, because I went to bed at 2am, woke up at 8am, so I'm a little bit tired, but it's okay. I'm up and at him, I'm out the house. Obviously, we just went to Tom, now we're just visiting. It sounds so dark when I'm just like, way we're visiting a cemetery, but that's what we're doing. This morning, the agenda was go to Tom, visit two cemeteries to put some flowers and a Christmas Eve candle down for some loved ones who are no longer with us, and drop a Christmas cake off. Random side mission, but the hustle is the hustle girls it's now nearly 9 p.m i haven't vlogged all day all day yeah oh my god i've eaten a jacket potato i've eaten a whole bowl of pasta today i've also napped for like three hours i woke up and i was just in the worst mood because i felt so delirious and i was so warm because i went to bed fully fully clothed it was awful anyway i'm off to go to like i don't know the pub somewhere you know somewhere with some friends good times with good friends do you know what i mean and um, this is what i got in my advent calendar today the aldi christmas wrap my mum wrote on a bit of card ub40's top song in like 1991 or something and it's called rat in the kitchen and she'd hidden this rat in the kitchen there's a rat in the kitchen what am i gonna do this was a glorious present from my advent obviously it wasn't in the advent calendar have you seen how fucking small them doors are you're joking anyway i've just uploaded my vlog and it's been not copyright striked but copyright something basically 
I can't monetize it because I put in a second too long of two songs, Barbie World and Tragedy. It's quite different songs, but it's fucking annoying. Like, who fucking cares? Copyright. Ugh. Anyway, I've tried to like clip out the parts of the vlog that have the music, but I don't even care that it's not monetized because like it's what, like 40p or whatever. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. Just can't be asked. I need to go out. I'm wearing my not a lot going on at the moment top and I've spilt a jacket potato all down it. Classic. And I'm still yet to do day 24 on the advent. The last day. In three hours it'll be Christmas day. What the hell? What the hell, love? Okay, what is today's one? Is it a trip to New York? Come on, Cadbury's. <laughs> it says, I bet it's gonna say one more sleep. And I was right, one sleep until Christmas. Is it gonna be a Santa? Yeah, I'm so good at this. Come on, out you come. Mmm, wow, that's the advent done, girl. It's been a good run, but for now I'm gonna piss myself and I need to get changed. So I'll see you in the car. Girls, look at these lights. Right, beautiful, gorgeous to have some lovely decorative lights, right? Uh, wrong when you're trying to leave for what? This lighting, no, no, no change change thank you beautiful until you're trying to leave to work and your fucking hair gets caught in them there's nothing festive and, and cheery about that you can't see me maybe that's for the best i'm on my way omw predictive text changing that to on my way with an exclamation point hmm, hmm. what was the need <laughs> i don't know luckily me coat's in me car it's fucking cold. Oh, I've got me Nutcracker mug back here that I got from work. That's from Primark. Fucking hell, Georgina. Um, that was when I thought I was getting fired. Hello. Mary Gibbs Gibbs. Gibbs. Mary Gibbs Gibbs. Mary Gibbs Gibbs. Mary Gibbs Gibbs. <laughs> Mary Gibbs Gibbs. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it without the song. Funny, <laughs> Eddie. I feel like in the Mean Girls. It's like little Lizzie Burks in the room. <laughs> Mary fucking Gibbs Gibbs. Girls, it is six minutes to three in the morning. This is a new, I was gonna say a new high, but maybe it's a new low. Like this is the latest I've stayed asleep. No, I need to sleep. I am delirious. This is the latest I've stayed awake in a very long time. I've just got home. We were at Michael's all evening playing Trivial Pursuit. I won, but that was because we did the questions for 14 and unders and I got clues for almost all of them. But a win's a win. I've just got home. Look what I've got home to. Me stocking girls. This is one of my favourite parts of Christmas, I'm not even gonna lie. Love it! Oh my god, and this year it's overflowing to the point that um poor Tigger, that's his name, right? He has an elastic band in his mouth to hold them all on. Merry bloody Christmas girls. I am I'm I was gonna say I'm so tired, I'm not because I had a nap earlier. Like I said, I was absolutely discombobulated from that nap. I woke up and I was just my face face like thunder girls. I don't even know what that reference means but i was not having it and my mum was like are you okay i was like yeah my eyes hurt i was too warm like it was like sensory overload it was just way too much but what is way too much currently is the fact that i've still got a full face of makeup on this slap is coming off and i am getting into bed yeah fucking merry christmas see you in the morning oh wait it already is the morning you wankers see you later in the morning if you're that way inclined love you Orlando Norris. Merry Gibbs Gibbs. A my peg. Yeah. They can see more planes at once. I'm <laughs> <laughs> getting the bumps on as well. Thank you, I've got both things put in. A my peg. Hi, what day is it? Jesus Christ, birthday. I can't believe this. Very own stocking. Oh my god. And... <laughs> Hi. Merry Gibbs Gibbs, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Is that RuPaul? RuPaul? Who's RuPaul? Two I'm not going to be able to. Do you, do you have to start it off up the rose potato? <laughs> Bigger. I thought more than finished. He's eating potato. Ready? Go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> Rise tight on Christmas. You know the rules.
going to come back up. It's going to get ready. You've got kangaroos bumping in Oh, beautiful, my beautiful Mekon. Go, go. What? My name is Gaylo Christmas Monkey, and I'm from the Apple Store. Merry Christmas, one and all, to all and one and one for all. Buy one, get one free. Sounds like the end of a pantomime. I want me up like a hog roost. Oh, oh, amazing. <laughs> Do not. Do not. Do not. <laughs> <laughs> this gonna work you're currently balancing on me I don't even know how to start with pronouncing the word of the bear from Ikea um, but I do know that I named him Elvis and me Danny DeVito pillow I'd show you but you know what it looks like and if I move that it all goes fucking Pete Tong girls Merry Christmas happy Boxing Day it is now Boxing Day the day after Christmas historically is Boxing Day hmm hmm did I used to think that meant that there was a fight yeah did I also used to think that the amount of pounds a baby was was how much you had to pay to take it home yeah and my dad humbled me very viciously with that one saying that if he had to pay 10 pounds for me he would have told the hospital to just keep it Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you all girls I didn't film much yesterday apologies it was it was a day it was obviously christmas day girls and i was just in the moment i was in the moment i'll i'll be on it you know it was just it was just a day girls i was living in the moment obviously michael came around for dinner which is the first time i've ever spent christmas dinner with anyone like plus liar i've done that before but basically it first but okay cool fuck me i'm having a fit oh my god it was the first time in ages that we've ever had someone else around for christmas dinner so that was a fun little breaking tradition and then obviously i went to michael's in the evening which was lovely boo oh he left his fucking card here obviously didn't mean that much to him and i spent about three seconds thinking of the poem inside roses are red violets blue christmas is great but better with you yep i am i'd say i'm modern romantic that you will be studying me at a level one day who knows romantic poetry yeah get in the bin remove yourself before i force do it for you vile anyway girls it's now boxing day i'm doing fuck all i have been scouring the internet the online hemisphere for something to wear on new year's eve because i cannot find anything i found something on sale at urban but i don't know if it will suit me because we all know how i feel about my body in a dress horrified so i'm going to order it to a close store and by close i mean down the fucking a3 but i might go and try it tomorrow in store. Do you know, to like, so I don't have to do all this faffing about returning it because I can't be asked. I can't be asked. Uh. It does blow my mind though how they contact Lana. I'm like, yes, through email. I don't know. I don't care to know either. I don't actually care. Uh, just, yep. Anyway, I thought I'd show you what I got for Christmas. Um, obviously, I am trying to brag. You girls know me, I'm not trying to brag. I'm hashtag grateful every day and you know this time of year makes me anxious anxious i normally hate this time of year not hate it i hate the winter but my birthday and christmas and new year because it's so big around change like getting older one thing coming to a close a new thing opening mm, makes me feel a little bit sick to my stomach like i might physically throw up all over the place so you know it's just nice to have a couple little treats to distract me from that um obviously i'm very grateful i'm bloody so grateful for vlogmas this year i cannot believe it's been and gone now this is the last vlogmas i have a giveaway going up on my instagram maybe today maybe tomorrow i couldn't tell you girls i have 
no idea. I have no idea. Because, when well, I haven't thought about it. But there'll be a, a giveaway going up to sort of end the... What? Celebrate the end of Vlogmas. Which, like I said, has flown by. It's been so much fun. I'm hoping in the new year I can vlog more and upload more than once a week. And also get the podcast back on track. But we'll get to that. Um, But yeah, very, very, like... Bloody dumbfounded. Like, last year's Vlogmas was fun, like I've said before. But this year was like, I actually really enjoyed it. Though I put less pressure on myself. I wasn't as clinically depressed this year. So it was a great, a great time. Great times were had. Hopefully on your part too. Obviously that's been and done. Another year has essentially come into a close and I'm just very grateful I made it to the end of it alive. And with that being said, let me show you what I got. The Atmos. I got a stocking, as I do every year. This baddie. Here baddie is shaking his panties. I'm obviously only a 22 year old teenage girl, so yeah, I still get a stocking. Every year my mum says we're not doing it any more. I think I'm malfunctioning. Every year my mum says we're not doing it any- Oh my god. Every year my mum says we're not doing stockings anymore. Here I am showing you what I got in my stocking, do you know what I mean? So I got some fluffy socks. Give over like yeah you can't compete when you don't compare these are gorgeous and they're made from plastic bottles my mum eco warrior love to see it my mum loves it she loves a bit of the recycling do you know what i mean she's very green but with envy with excitement for the environment uh, i got this bath fizzer from soap and glory all that fizz turn up the music turn down the lights it's all that fizz i guess that's a play on all that jazz i don't know but it smells lovely oh delightful this is not a food good to know in my next life i want to be another useful object please recycle me while seeing as you are so politely oh well i got some Olaplex number three and this Moroccan oil restorative hair mask. I asked for both of these things. So to see them in my stocking, oh my god bless. Got this body scrub. Um, I like the fact that you focus on my face only when I'm not wearing makeup. Fucking Canon G7X. Sorry I was going to put makeup on but I just simply can't be arsed. I'm not even wearing socks right now. Just to give you a bit of contact. Uh, got this body scrub. Hello. This is coconut. Uh, cruelty free. Mmm, delightful. I've had this before and it was very nice. I think I actually used this back in my self-tanning days. Yep, I used to fake tan quite a lot. You know what? I'm not opposed to it. I probably will for Christmas. Nope, it's been Christmas, you dipshit. New Year's Eve. Because, oh, there's something about me being pale in photos that makes me a little bit nauseous. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's got something to do with being horrendous looking. Anyway, I got this Virgo candle um hello there we go lovely stuff you girls know i'm a very proud virgo so that was very well received i got some bath salts these are also from MS. these are so strong oh my god they are so strong which hopefully means well they'll do what they need to do and then i also got this oh my god it's bit my tongue i did that the other day you know when you bite your tongue you get filled with such rage that you just start having a go at whoever's near you or maybe that's just me. I bit my tongue when I was eating this panini and Michael goes, what's wrong? And I was like, what's wrong? Are you asking me to punch you in the face? I was like, mm, mm, my tongue. It was awful. Anyway, <laughs> I also got this in my stocking. This, girls, you know where this is from. This is from Top... Fucking hell, I just dropped it. <laughs> this is from Tobley Cabin. It says rough as rats on it. And it's a little rat. And Kerry painted this for me. I asked her to paint it for me ages ago. And then she was like, okay, I'll give it to your mum. And then I was like, oh, mum, did Kerry give you the ball ball? And she was like, no. She lied. Her when she lies, it was actually for my stocking. I also got this for my stocking, the Carex Love Hearts Hand Gel. Girls, there's something... Oh my god, this smells so good. And every single time I go past hand sanitizers. I'm always like, oh, that one looks so good and I never buy it for myself because I'll happily spend like £100 on something ridiculous but £1 hand sanitizer, yeah, you're taking the piss. I'm not buying that. I was elated to see that in the stocking as well. My mum smashes it, but that's just because I'm so easy to buy for, in my opinion. Do you know what I mean? Like, I will just... I like anything. If you have to spend money on it, I'll probably like it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> my mum also got me... Well, I say my mum. It's my mum and dad, but he had no fucking idea. He was just sat there like... No idea, girls. Um, these pyjamas, give over. Yep, give over. I opened these up. I was like, yes, yeah, so you ate. Sorry. These are obviously leopard print, and I guess that's zebra print or tiger. Yeah, got these beautiful pyjamas, and they're so soft. Girls, I literally cannot put into words how soft they are. They're just amazing. 
they're lovely stuff and they're from the tool range so they fit beautifully and they're not tight oh my god the park can't see it mate smashed it out of it sorry sometimes i need to think about how offensive my words are I, my mum also got me this cashmere shower gel i love this is from next the smell of the cashmere perfume from next i love it so a shower gel yes please also i love receiving a shower gel i can't help it lock me up i like receiving a shower gel and then she also got me this oh my god stop it because she sent me the sweetest thing on instagram reels the other day no not the other day literally yesterday and it said something like it was basically being grateful that i'm her daughter and i cried on michael's toilet and she got me this candle that says daughter you are my sunshine i love that woman more than life itself no no because you don't get it i, I love my mum smells really good as well and it's got these sort of like marshmallow like things in it gorgeous um and i also love receiving a candle things that make me smell better big fan of because i have that fear of smelling which is funny because i didn't shower for two days the last two days lol anyway they also got me oh this this is from my dogs according to my mum so it's true uh mash and ban <laughs> mash and banji personally picked this one out uh when i bought some decorations earlier this month i saw this in the shop and i really wanted to get it but i was like oh i can't really afford it and i shouldn't and here we are on christmas day well now boxing day bloody got it in my hands haven't i girls and obviously i've got another disco ball in the middle of my room which fell down and hit me on my head the other day when i was changing my bedding don't want to talk about the language i displayed after that so now i've got a smaller one to hang up elsewhere bloody delightful gorgeous they also got me these are just like things that i asked for i asked for quite a lot of like tech stuff if you count this yassified pink star laptop case as tech stuff i asked for this laptop case which matches uh g mind which matches the case i got for my ipad my ipad love it it's from burger spelt with an a b-u-r-g-a burger um, then I opened this. My favourite thing about yesterday is that I opened two of my main, like my main presents. I opened things to go with them before I opened the actual present itself. Classic, because my mum was giving them to me like, I, d I don't know what any of this is. And I was like, oh, that makes two of you. Old man over there doesn't know either. I got this case and I was thinking, oh, I wonder what's going to go with this case. The bloody hard drive I asked for, girls. I am elated. This is four terabytes as well which if that doesn't turn you on i don't know what will and if you do not know if you're not that way inclined four terabytes that's just like a fuck ton the one i'm using now is two and historically two times two is four so that's double what i've got now elated and i've got the little case for it to go in and then they also got me which is like another one of the main things i asked for uh a new podcast microphone yo la la look at that amazing grace how sweet the sorry i forgot i could sing i just wanted a handheld one i know i might look like a bit of a twat but i was just thinking hello i am a twat i just thought f-u-c-k it why not and i love it and it's got very good reviews and i actually did research for once instead of just impulse buying i researched and it paid off so that's what my parents got me hashtag blessed hashtag grateful hashtag very lucky hashtag don't get it twisted then my brothers one of my brothers got me this i told you it's techie stuff um this what is this called sd card sand disk sd card um this is 256 gigabytes which again if you're not that way inclined that's a fuck ton the one i'm using right now is 128 so this everything's coming up millhouse that's all i'll say that is wham and then my other brother got me and i opened this before i opened the microphone the adapter cable for the microphone so i opened that and i was like oh i wonder what else i'll be getting so alex got me the adapter cable which i obviously would have needed for the microphone and he got me oh delicious a waterstones gift card girls my reading slump is so bad at the moment i've just started another new book to try and get me out of it it's eleanor uh, uh, elephant eleanor ophelian i can't even remember how you say it is completely fine my mum told me i'd like it um i have already looked up the plot so we'll see if i read all of that from my nana she got me the water bottle i asked for i made my 2024 new year's resolutions last night when i was with michael one of which was to drink only one dr pepper a day and drink a liter of water a day and i'm pretty sure this is a liter i'm gonna assume this is a liter so obviously i had a pink one of these she also got me a pair of fluffy socks 
elated with them because they are so fluffy. Oh my god, I'm gonna put them on now actually. Lovely. Um, and she also got me this key ring, which is so cute. And it says, never forget how strong you are. And it's got a little look at that, it's got a little elephant on it. So, and then from my auntie and my cousins, they got me. Oh, oh, oh my god, <laughs> that was a good gag. Not a bath gag, like when I'm going to work. That was a gooped and gagged. This um Eleanor Bauma um like zip up bag. Well, it's not like a zip up bag, it is a zip up bag. And it's got my star sign on it. And I got my mum this pattern with her star sign on a mug. And I asked for the mug for Christmas, but the mug's out of stock in my star sign because obviously Virgo's rule the world. So my mum's gonna buy it for me as like a late Christmas present in the new year when it comes back. Because I did actually go as far to email as a matter of urgency to ask when the mugs are coming back because I will start drinking tea again if it means i can drink it out of this beautiful virgo mug you know what i mean i have got my priorities straight and then from one of my granddad and my nan i got um oh i feel physically sick in a good way look at this a new laptop case again it's techie isn't it girls i'm in love it looks a lot smaller because my laptop is like 14 inches and that's don't fit it does fit and obviously it's got hello kitty on it i've obviously got my hello kitty tattoo and no stud so very on brand and i love it i don't know where it's from i can't remember oh bagu b a w G U. Love that. Very happy with that. Uh, from another granddad, I got money. And then from my godmother, she got me another pair. Fucking fluffy socks. I'm, I'm genuinely... I'm telling you now, unless I have to wear like my little white Nike socks because they're visible, I will be wearing fluffy socks at all times. What? At all times. I'm a big fluffy sock advocate and these, well, these are like the ritz of fluffy socks. These are so thick and fluffy. I love them. She also got me this Santa's Lit chocolate medal. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And she gave me some money as well, which I'm very grateful for. Obviously, I am getting absolutely raw dogged with the, my lack of hours at work, so. So I was elated with that. Thank you very much. And then my family friend, my brother's godmother, um, we call her an aunt. You know the auntie that's, you call an auntie, but she's not your auntie. One of them, she got me a nomination charm for my nomination bracelet and it's bloody beautiful. It's so nice. It's a high heel. High heels on my tippies. So I need to get my mum to change that because I don't know how to do it. So I need to get my mum to put that on for me because I don't know how to do it. And apparently it's quite hard. And if there's one thing you should know about me is I will give up. I am a quitter. So I won't even try. <laughs> And then, this is everything I got from Michael, um, hashtag spoil, he obviously paid £100 towards my day session of tattoos and he got me this as an early Christmas present for me iPad, the, uh, the iPad case which now matches my laptop case. And, fun fact, actually quite spooky fact, I saw some girl at work the other day who was eating, um, she had the phone case of this, so I thought, wow, you've got taste, anyway. He got me um, a pair of jeans, which we're gonna send back because they are literally identical to the ones I already have. Which is so weird because when I saw them in the sh- What? When I saw them in the store, in the shop, sorry, store, um, they were not the same colour and I was like, oh, I really want these jeans because they're not the same colour. Um, but they were, they were. But it doesn't matter because refunds, returns and exchanges do in fact exist. Girls, I'll be honest with you, since I last spoke to you, I have eaten some bubble and squeak. Not all of it, it was just way too large of a portion. I have laid on the sofa and read some of the book that I'm reading, um, and then I proceeded to fall asleep for two hours. Yeah. Oh, I've only just come around since waking up, to be honest with you, so. Sorry if that was a bit disjointed. It was light outside last time I spoke to you, and now it's dark. The minion hoodie is on. I'm cold, it is chilly in here. Anyway, I was showing you what Michael got me. So he got me this bedding, my camera battery ran out last time, which is why I stopped filming. Beautiful, beautiful. As you can see, gorgeous. It's very soft. I do like Urban Outfitters bedding. It's very soft and obviously my bed frame is blue velvet. So this will go delightfully with that. Lovely. Uh, he also got me, yeah. Oh, I'm okay, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He got me this. Hello, what is this called? Build-A-Bear. He got me the Build-A-Bear, the Christmas one this year. Beautiful pale blue. Oh my God, I love him. What do I name him? I don't know. I don't know what I name him. <laughs> but all I'll tell you is I love him. I do in fact have one of every frog and there's no room for any more up there. So I need to get my toy hammock out. Yep, I have a toy hammock. He got me a refill of Alien. Basically, I have the perfume Alien and I really like it. 
and I'm always out of it. So he got me another one, but I don't know if this is just a refill or if it's a new bottle. Oh, it's a different bottle. It's dark. Wait, is it? Nope, it's the same one. He got me a new bottle of Alien. Gorgeous. Very unexpected. Some of these gifts, because we give each other, well, I give him a fucking fat fuck off list, but I feel like we're kind of like, we know what each other wants, but a few of these were complete surprises. Um, along with this one that he got me, he got me this Stussy cowboy boot vase. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And I don't really have any nice vases. Well, like, I have a few. But this, this is just lovely. Decorative. I love it. That. And then he got me some little bits because we did a stocking for each other. Of course, obviously my stocking this year. And it will be for foreseeable future from him was this leopard print stocking with stars on it. It's as if whoever made this stocking knew that I would end up with it because, hello, it is gorgeous. In my stocking, he got me a little mini Dr. Pepper, the perfect nightcap. This is the size of Dr. Pepper I should actually drink. It would be so much better for me and my teeth, but what can you do? He also got me five scratch cards and I actually won three pounds on them. So, natural born winner. So if you never hear from me again, it's because I'm rich. <laughs> he also got me an SD card. This is 128 gigabyte. So now I'm, I have so many fucking minutes. I'm gonna be vlogging nonstop, you lucky fucks. <laughs> he got me that, he got me leopard print tights. You can't really tell that they're leopard print in the packaging. I think you can kind of see that. Yeah, they're leopard print. Obviously, you know me, girls. I love a bit of leopard print, so I was elated with them. He got me this huge fuck-off Toblerone because I told him the other day that I really like Toblerone and I haven't had one in a while. Um, So he got me a bloody Toblerone. He also got me this handmade fucking bookmark from Etsy and it's obviously a wrap. It's terrifying. I love it. <laughs> He also got me, this was like, this is one of my favourites, this Dr. Pepper croc gibbet. You heard me right, a Dr. Pepper croc gibbet. Which is so weird because I've been looking at buying one on like Vinted or Etsy and I was about to buy one then I didn't. So, all's well that ends well. And then the last few things he got me were these stray rats socks these ones just say stray rat um these are so thick and soft girls you know how i feel about a thick soft sock i love them and then these ones these ones are amazing look at these these say rat girl all over them yeah oh okay yeah i was gonna say it matches my top but then i realized i didn't wear that top so yeah oh my god I almost threw up that is everything I got for Christmas. Merry Gibbs Gibbs one and all. Thank you so much for watching my vlogmas this year. It has gone by like the speed of light. But I am so bloody grateful for everyone who watched it. I've now upgraded from a Dr Pepper to a more festive drink. J2O. God it must be Christmas. See you next year girls. Well, you'll see me before then. But you get the point. Yeah.